We're excited about bringing another heavyweight championship fight to the Mecca of boxing, the most historic venue for boxing that's had a no number of uh, historic heavyweight championship fights. This one coming up on Saturday night, you have uh, Vladimir Klitschko as the heavyweight champion fighting undefeated Bryant Jennings from Philadelphia. I can say that this is the best-selling uh, Klitschko fight that we've ever staged here in Madison Square Garden, so very, we're very excited about that. Um, there are a few ringside seats still available, and tickets start at $100. So um, unlike some fights coming up, the tickets can be bought, and, and uh, we look forward to seeing everyone on, on uh, Saturday. Um, with that, I'd like to introduce, and we also have uh, Shannon uh, for some commentary. Hello, everybody. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God for this opportunity and for bringing everybody together. Uh, thank Golden Boy. I want to thank HBO. I want to thank Madison Square Garden and uh, the rest of the promoters that have to do with this card. It's a beautiful card. Uh, heavyweight Championship of the World. I mean, what else can I ask for? In Madison Square Garden, the Mecca of Boxing. I'm very excited. Um, good luck to all the fighters on the card. I mean, I've worked hard for this. Um, because you got to be in shape. I know a great fighter like uh, Francisco Santana. You know, he's, he's hungry, he's coming to win. Same for me. You know, I, I built everything I built. I worked hard for this, and, and, and I'm ready to win and shine. Uh, everybody come out, show support. Thank you very much. I guess from what I heard, Peter Nelson must have had lunch with Bernard Hopkins today because we got another history lesson. But let me just tell you, I have a lot of respect for Saddam Ali before I introduce Jennings. He's got... I guess you went on for about 20 minutes with all the awards and, and everything else. And my poor fighter, I think he once got a charm for a fight. But the difference is my fighter could fight. And you'll see Francisco Santana on Saturday night fight. So it's not about history. It's about going forward, which brings me into Jennings and Klitschko. It's not about history. It's about going forward. It's about two great fighters, certainly a great champion who have a, a world of respect for, a lot of respect for. He, he had his brother. I don't, I don't know that there's ever been a brother act that have accomplished what they've accomplished. And on behalf of James Prince and Antonio Leonard, and, and of course, Brian Jennings, uh, we're so thankful for the opportunity. And maybe we're getting the opportunity the same way Santana's getting the opportunity because they don't think that the fighters really are in the fight. So there are going to be two fighters on Saturday night that are going to be really surprised that they're in fights. Um, I'd like to also uh, just, is, where's Jenkins? Fred Jenkins. I will. Um, his trainer, been the trainer for a long time. During the small interview we had upstairs, I did say to the writers, that the one thing about Jennings that's different than most fighters that I've ever represented, when he talks about a team, he means the team. When there's a decision to be made, no matter what the decision is, we go to him and he says, no, it's a team decision. And everybody gets on the phone or we meet, but that, that's who, who um, Brian Jennings is. I also do want to say, because I mentioned his name before, but this guy, I believe, in my mind, could solve the Arab-Israeli war. And the president should take him over to take care of Iran and Iraq and everything else. And that's Shelley Finkel. I don't know where he is. I saw him before. He's there. But he was a great, great part of putting this fight together and making the fight. And I go back a long, long time with Shelley. And I, I mean that. Um, Fred, you want to come up and say two words? Fred Jenkins, the trainer, Brian Jennings. First of all, I want to thank God for being here. I want to thank God for making this an opportunity. There were so many obstacles in the way. We've been actually chasing Plisco for three years. We had ups and downs. We had all kinds of things that go on. But all of a sudden, everything came together. And the last worship thing, we were on our way here from Houston, and they said we couldn't get here. The, pl the flight was delayed. I said, man, we four or five days away, the flight delayed. 
we sitting in the airport for five hours getting here. So we tried to figure it out. He said, man, Clisco must have called the airport up and told them not to pull the flight out. You know, Clisco do all kinds of things to make things happen his way. You know what I mean? He like, he like he said, he like a magician. But this fight here that we, you know, everybody been watching Clisco, they've been seeing all the great greatness, but nobody ever looked at the negative of Clisco. Now, I've been watching fights over the, over the last month, and I've seen so many things that Clisco did wrong. It, it, it was embarrassing to even mention you know what I mean? So I don't even want to bring those things out. But if you go back to those fights and, and look at those fights, you, and, and, and if you're a real boxing person, then no boxing, because they only claim you only know, it's only 90% of the people that don't know boxing, it's only 10% that do know. So even the 90%, if you really start looking at the last couple of fights Klitschko had, you will actually see all those mistakes. But I just, I see, Please. he's still always searching. He's always, he never stops searching for a way to maneuver, but we're going to take those tricks away on Saturday, April 25th. I just want all y'all to do one thing. Start spreading the news. There's a new heavyweight champ in New York City. Just spread the news. Start spreading the news. You ain't got to wait to Saturday. Spread the news now. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. See, Gary, you took you spoke too long, so the battery ran out. No. Uh, with that, I'd like to uh, introduce. You know, uh, Emmanuel Stewart is irreplaceable. What he accomplished in the sport and what he taught all the numerous champions um, that he was involved with, and the people inside the ring and outside the ring. He wasn't only a boxing trainer, but uh, really a life coach. And I know he taught. Vladimir, a number of things, uh, you know, in the ring, but more outside the ring. And to follow in someone's footsteps like that is almost an impossible task. With that being said, you know, someone who grew up with Emmanuel, um, influenced uh, with the way he raised them, it, both uh, also inside and outside the ring, is um, Jonathan Banks. I'd like to bring him up. First of all, I want to thank, of course, HBO and everybody else who had anything to do with this fight. And um, going to what um, two members of Jennings' team said, um, the good promoter Gary Shaw said, we're not looking at, it, at, for the, at the past fights, we're looking, for the, we're looking to the future. And his trainer said about the mistakes, I, I honestly believe, coming from nothing but a diehard fan of the sport of boxing, every fighter makes mistakes. No matter who you are, what you have done in the sport, every fighter makes some type of a mistake. It's just about when and where are you able to capitalize on that particular mistake. Um, this is boxing. It will be mistakes made on one side or the other, that really doesn't matter. I really feel that Vladimir Klitschko is um, obviously one of the most dominant heavyweights in the last 50, 10 to 15 years of, his, of the division, given of the order of what he's done. And I honestly give him, take my hat off and have nothing but respect for Brian Jennings. Um, no one's just looking past Brian Jennings. If you've seen any of his fights, you know there's no need to look past a guy like that. He's a true top heavyweight contender, and um, he's, destined, he, he's destined to come for the titles. So once again, um, I want to thank HBO once again, everybody had anything to do with this fight. And Vladimir Klitschko, he's ready. He's ready to fight on Saturday night. Um, you'll see another um, successful title defense. Thank you. I don't know. I don't think you've, I've seen you make a lot of mistakes, but if coach. Embarrassing mistakes. Yeah, I've never seen it, but I sure as shit hope you make a lot of those mistakes on Saturday. Yeah, the coach, I'm going to speak to him. I'll speak to Jennings. Um, I'm not going to take a long time because this is about the two fighters, not, not the rest of us. I do believe this. I believe that Brian Jennings is the single best athlete that Klitschko has ever faced. I believe, as a promoter, I want my fighter to win. 
I don't know who's going to win. But I believe that Brian Jennings' athleticism at the end of this fight, whether it goes short or it goes 12 rounds, Brian Jennings will be declared the victor. And you will see that it was based on his athleticism, not only his heart, not only his mind, not, e not only that he's the best trained fighter, self-trained, that I've ever seen. And anybody that's worked with him has, has told me that. Lou Savarese called me from Houston, told me he trains unbelievable. I never saw anybody train like him. So I want to bring up the fighter that I believe will leave on Saturday night at Madison Square Garden on HBO with all the trinkets up here that he told me would get him into the Mayweather fight for sure. <laughs> for true. So I'd like to introduce to you Brian Bye Bye Jennings. Yeah, uh, though. <clears throat> April 25th, baby. You know, I never have nothing written down. I don't think about what I'm going to say. I don't do none of that. But how much more talking can I do? Everybody know what I do. Everybody know what we do. April 25th is history. It's history for me. It's history for Philadelphia. It's history for all of my supporters. It's history for my team. It's history for everybody that's involved with Brian Jennings. And let's begin this by saying, I make mistakes too. I ain't perfect. But guess what? I'm going to be perfect Saturday night. <laughs> April 25th. I ain't here to talk nice. I ain't here to, you know, I know I'm well spoken, but I'm from Philly. And I've been training. And what, what they, what was February the 4th was the, was, the, was the first press conference. And, you know, I was excited. You know, I was this and I was that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I've been putting in that work. I've been out in Houston. I've been putting in that work. I've been to Miami. I've been to Oakland. I've been to Houston. I've been back and forth. I've been putting in that work. My whole life I've been putting in that work. And for somebody to even doubt or to even question anything that I can do, they're retarded. You know I mean? I've been putting in that work. And I ain't here to be, you know, talking nice and saying, hey, yeah, yeah, guys, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty, pretty nice to be here. Thank everybody. Listen, everybody already know I thank everybody. They know I'm from the heart. You know I mean? I come here to talk my Philly. I come here to talk my Philly stuff. I mean, is, is this thing censored? Yeah, is okay. this censored? No. I mean, because listen, I, I ain't got time to be holding nothing in. I mean, everybody know me as the person, you know, get up on the, you know, get up on the podium and, you know, well-spoken and stuff like that. You know, I'm very respectful. You know, I always keep my hand in the rest of the position just like this. See, the lights went off. I called that. You see that? I'm the magician. I'm the magician. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have them things turn back on. Matter of fact, we're going to keep them off. But listen. You already know, April 25th is going down. It's going down. I don't know, I don't know what else to say. It's going down April 25th. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not letting up. I'm not letting nothing up. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna have I'm gonna have Gary answer that. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna have Gary answer that. Hey man, did, did, didn't didn't Gary tell you I, I work as a team? We all gonna sit down. I'm gonna get Jay. I'm gonna get Fred. I'm gonna get Gary. I'm gonna get uh, and I'm gonna get Tony. We gonna sit down. And I'm gonna get Josh too. Hey, but listen, like 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 B Hop said, we from Philly. We always show the greatest gratitude, respect you, respect everything you do. You you know good. You know what I mean, you know what I'm saying. But April 25th, it's going down with this guy right here. You know what I'm saying. Last time, la la last time we was up here, you know. You know, I felt, I felt your charm. I felt your, you know, your manipulation. I felt everything. I felt all of the energy. I felt everything. I'm a person. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person. You, 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 you remind me of myself. You get what I'm saying? You remind me of myself. So I felt everything. I felt all the energy. And I do respect you as a man. I respect you as a fighter. But come April 25th, it's going the fuck down. Going down. And that's all I'm going to say. And that's what I'm going to leave this press conference with. April 25th is going down. Much respect to you and good luck. So with that, we have one, 
One more person before we bring up the heavyweight champion. I'd like to introduce the person that's really been behind Vladimir's career uh, for a number of years, uh, responsible for all the marketing deals, the international TV deals, um, arranging the big fights in the soccer stadiums, you know, unprecedented for, for that number of fights uh, in the large arenas, 40, 50,000 seat arenas in Germany. Um, I'd like to bring up uh, his manager, runs the Klitschko Management Group, Bern Bonte. Thank you. Ooh. Hello, everyone. Great to be back here. And uh, first of all, thanks to our host, uh, Madison Square Garden, Joel Fisher and his great team for the great cooperation uh, so far, great deal they do in PR and marketing. I think this hopefully will be a sellout crowd Saturday night. And yeah, great to be back in this arena. I was here many, many years ago as a TV journalist, covered here many fights. And uh, it's great to be back uh, uh, as uh, Vladimir's uh, manager. And uh, with our whole team here, thanks to the Klitschko Management Group doing a great job, K2 Promotions. And also thank you to Gary Shaw and his team putting this fight together. Also thank you to Shelley, who did a great job in negotiating this deal. And uh, yeah, we hear, I mean, we know about all these records and uh, we know that Vladimir was here the last time in 2008. Uh, Tom mentioned before, boxing is a global sport and therefore we went to Switzerland, we went to uh, Russia, we went to Germany, had great fights, uh, Vladimir even six fights uh, in a row in, in huge sold out soccer stadiums. Uh, but nevertheless, it's great to be back here and uh, he's now fighting with Brian Jennings, another undefeated fighter. It's, by the way, the fourth undefeated fighter in his last five fights, and it's Vladimir's 27th uh, world title bout. With this, uh, with this 27th fight, he's surpassing uh, Joe Lewis and Muhammad Ali. This is also a new world record in the heavyweight division. Uh, but th this is not about records, about world records. This is about a great fight, and we know that uh, Brian Jennings is a very, very good fighter. He will show uh, a great performance on, on Saturday night, but so will Vladimir. I'm very, very excited. We have uh, about 150 countries uh, around the world covering this big fight, and it's a, it's a great evening. We're looking forward to this, and without any further ado, let me now uh, introduce to you the gold medal winner from the Olympic Games in Atlanta 1996 and the current heavyweight champion of the world, Vladimir Klitschko. Good afternoon, New York. Good afternoon, Madison Square Garden. Everybody, good afternoon. Um, special guest that I... <laughs> not you. You're not special anymore. You're not special anymore. Bernard Hopkins. I'm really glad to meet you in person. Your inspiration for, I can say, for millions of people around the world that are getting closer to 40, and after 40, as somebody screaming out there, still young enough and energetic enough to fight, and mostly to challenge. This uh, press conference has been very, very long, and I know I'm trying to make, a, my, make my speech as short as possible, but I want to say something, and I have a right to say it. I am uh, definitely excited about this fight, definitely excited to fight at Madison Square Garden, seven years break back in the States, Fantastic. Right time, right venue, and right opponent. Coach of Brian Jennings just mentioned that uh, there have been uh, embarrassing mistakes that I made. I asked what kind of embarrassing mistakes. Um, did I spit somebody in the face? Um, or I don't know. What else was embarrassing? Yes, we're all making mistakes. We're all trying to be as perfect as possible. We're trying to climb on the peak of a mountain. Nobody knows where the peak is because we're picking always our own performance if we do want to do it. I want to also mention Mr. Shaw. Um, it's not first time that we see each other and I've been fighting also in new programs before. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you're an amazing promoter. 
And I just can imagine what would you said if you were my promoter. You're the best in the world. No one can beat you. So it's, um, it's, a definitely, it's definitely a combination of a lot of energy, a lot of characters here. And uh, as we see, we're emotional, we laugh. We, we definitely cannot wait when the fight is going to happen, which everybody knows, April 25th, here at the Garden. And also I want to say thank you very much to the Garden. You've been always loyal to Klitschko Brothers, always. Even if in the times when we're not that present in the States, you've always been in contact and you've been always loyal and was looking forward to stage your fight. Eventually, this is happening. Brian, you are, you're a great fighter. I've been studying you particularly and carefully. And, um, you know, you have a lot of positive sides, a lot of good sides, and you're using it in a ring. You've been very successful. You're undefeated. You're very excited about the fight. I can tell you're very energetic. I have been looking at you and I've been looking at this name, Bye Bye Jennings, and I have a question, what does that mean? I didn't get it. I just want to know, can you tell me what does that mean? The word, the word Bye has a whole lot of meanings. And, and through, my, through my success, by and by, I will succeed throughout my whole career, throughout my life. This is what it is. But when you say it, it's Bye Bye as in Bye Bye. But the real meaning Okay, it's personal. All right, thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Um, I have to also show you something that um, I brought with me. This is special and very unique piece that I'm going to wear on Saturday night. So on both sides, there are names. We have to get a little closer and in particular. So there's a lot of names. There to be exact 67 names. This is my fighting record. Name, the place, the date, and the result. But only one result, of course, still open because 67 fight is going to be against Brian Jennings and we don't know what exactly is gonna be put in here, not on these trunks, but on the, on the record. These trunks will be auctioned after the fight, so we'll have the same the same fighting record on my rope, so rope and trunks gonna be auctioned and all the money gonna go to charity, 100% gonna go to the children also in Ukraine that's struggling right now in the war. I want to say thank you to every fan that going to attend and bought the ticket to this match. And I just wanna tell you that everybody who's gonna be in the arena as much of energy I feel, also from my challenger, i positive that this fight in this small ring, which is the smallest ring in boxing, 18 foot, is going to be really entertaining and really exciting. And I'm aware of the capabilities of my opponent and his athlete, athleticism, and I know that he can last for 12 rounds, and I, can, and I know that he's going to challenge and be challenged at every second. So it's going to be not wasting of money for the fans that bought the tickets and of course for the people that are going to watch HBO. I was just thinking 15 years ago here at the Garden, exactly in April, I was fighting an undercard, Louis, uh, Lennox Lewis Grant. That was my first appearance in the Garden and that was my first appearance on HBO. 15 years later, I'm still around. And you know what, Bernard? I wish I can be 49 and stand here and perform. I wish I'm gonna have enough motivation and health. So thank you very much for your attention. We're all gonna see each other, or some of you, on April 25th. Good luck, Brian, to you. We'll see each other later on the open workouts and weigh in. So enjoy the fight and thank you very much. Down up, get down. Get the selfie stick down. Selfie okay. stick. Selfie okay. stick. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go check. Camera's, Camera's down. down. Okay. Okay. Let's go check. Yes, I'm talking about. Yeah, Jack. That's what I'm talking about. Put your camera down. That's good. Hey, that's over now. We can't see.
see back here? It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. If you can't see back here, it's on. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Let's go, Jack. Take a photo with all four HBO fighters together. Pro feature and and the main event. a special guest, the best female fighter in the world, Cecilia Breakhouse. She's going to come in and take photos with the, the four fighters as well. And she just signed with, uh, with KMG and with uh, K2 Promotions as well. 